any play, first and second, if it's a buck play, I want one out. One out for sure. We can do a lot of things after that one out is made. Whether that out's at first or third, more often than not, is dictated by what the bunt was. If it's a good bunt, it's usually one out, the man on second and third. Hi, this is Lynn Henning reporting from Lakeland, Florida today on the third full day of pitcher and catcher workouts. Beautiful Sunday morning here in Lakeland. Rather pastoral, kind of sabbatical today. And uh, one of the emerging storylines, too, that's really been somewhat overlooked because it's been almost assumed, and that is Justin Verlander's emergence as the real star of this pitching rotation. There's not a lot of question that Justin Verlander will probably be on the mound opening day for the Tigers. There's also some consideration going on throughout baseball that in 2008, as good as the Tigers can be, a pitcher with Justin Verlander's talent and his durability could conceivably be contending for a Cy Young Award. It's an awful lot to say about a guy 24 years of age, but one thing that also tends to be a little underappreciated about Verlander is the fact he's won 35 games in his first two full seasons in the majors. 35 games. This speaks not only to enormous talent, but also to the fact he's making regular starts and taking his team deep into games. This is why this pitcher is viewed as premier. This is why even Jim Leland says this is an exceptional pitcher. The kind of pitcher that you get once in a generation, a Jack Morris type to use his manager's words. There's going to be interchangeable parts on Leland's rotation. And right now, that along with Justin Verlander is why the manager, I think, is feeling pretty good about his pitching staff going into 2008. All right, hamstrings, alternate, keep the legs off the ground, 10 on each, 20 total. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then my driver was a little phase too. 